Hey everybody, it's Mama D. And David. How you doing? Boy, we've had a busy week, haven't we? Yes. We go from doing nothing to doing a ton of things. Um, so let's get started. This week we went to see three performances. Yes, I said three. No, two, three. Um, two at the Hale and one at the our AYT Kids. And what a great time we had. Didn't we have a good time, David? Yes. Really, really a good time. Um, our first performance at the Hale was Daddy Long Legs. Um, and it was played by two of our favorite actors and actresses, uh, Heidi Johnson and um, Austin Delp. Uh, I had never seen Daddy Long Legs. David saw it. Uh, you saw I it. I saw it the first time that they um, per put it on. And I, I was with Sister Faith and we were all the way up on the top. So being in the first row, it was like just amazing. Wow. Yeah, we yeah. Saw, we saw everything. Yeah, this is the first time we saw, uh, we sat in the first row and it was kind of cool. You, you really, I mean, that's the one thing about the Hale Theater. First of all, there's no bad seats. Whether you sit way up top or in the uh, lower east section, yeah. not west side, it doesn't matter where you sit. You get a great performance. But when you sit in that first row, you actually feel like you're part of the performance. Heidi, it's so cool. Heidi came up to me in our area, and I almost like... David's a big <laughs> Heidi fan. And uh, so like every time she came around, he's like, his knees went jello. Um, <clears throat> but they did... Uh, so, hi, Heidi. Hi, Heidi. Uh, they did a great job. The show is performed only by two an people. actor and an actress. Two people. And a band. And a band. Uh, the band you don't see. They're up above. In the corner. In the, in the lofts. But the music was great. And the whole show, when I heard it was done by two people, I was like, oh, this is going to be boring. It was not. Huh? It, I really, well, I told you. I, was, I had my reservations about a show only done by two people. Um, and it being a musical and not a play. I've been to plays where it's only done by a few people, um, but it's a play. But a musical done by two people I've never been to, and it was fabulous. Just fabulous. Sister Faith is saying something. Daddy Long Legs is still the old, original version of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Faith said Daddy Long Legs is still the... Old inter, uh, version the of the internet. internet. That's what you had. Before the internet. But it was really good. It kept you on your seat. It kept you interested. Um, and Heidi and uh, Austin, what a perfect matchup. Uh, voice wise, uh, there was a lot of chemistry, and their voices were just so melted together. It was beautiful. We really had a good time. So hats off to you two. Um, well, we love Heidi. I think Heidi can sing the home uh, sing phone, the book phone book and we'd go and... I was and just about to say, she could sing the dang <clears throat> phone book. Yeah, she could sing the phone book and we'd go watch and listen to her. And Austin, incredible. I think you get better and better every time we we hear you. And it's just so good to see you back because um, we haven't seen you in a while and I was just thrilled. And then the next day, we went to see... Um, Brigadoon. Now, I had never seen Brigadoon. I had never seen it, and I've never... We didn't even know what it was about, about it. and so we read the yeah. little, um... Storyline. Storyline, which, let's see, is the storyline here? It's right over there on that piece of paper. Oops. Okay. The storyline of Brigadoon is... For those of you that don't know it either. Right here. Okay. The action predominantly takes place in and around the town of Brigadoon in the highlands of Scotland. Um, and then one scene takes place in New York City later on. Uh, so let me put that back there. Sorry for my reach over my face. Um, it's a story about a town that only comes back every 200 years. 100. 100 years? 100. Is it 100? Every 100 years, the town reappears. And it just so happened 
that as um, our two friends, Tommy Albright and Jeff Douglas, and Tommy was played by Austin, and Jeff Douglas played by uh, one of our okay. other favorite actors, David Michael Paul, um, comes uh, was coming to Scotland, and they discover Brigadoon. And the whole storyline falls around Tommy and uh, Jeff as they come into Brigadoon. And Tommy um, is engaged, but not very happy. And he falls in love with Fiona, one Who's of the played by who is played by our wonderful Amal one Amanda. Of our favorites. Yes, I love Amanda. Amanda Valenzuela, and um, falls in love with her. And now there's the conundrum because Brigadoon only stays for so many days, and then they go back into their deep sleep. Um, it's a phenomenal story. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful story. Uh, I really enjoyed it, didn't you? I really enjoyed it. Um, and dis despite the fact we didn't know nothing about it, I really enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It was it. it was our first time seeing, uh, seeing and it. With, and with being going to see Daddy Long Legs the night before and then going to see Bring It Doon the, day, the next, next day. day, I was wondering how the theater was going to change from a... Uh, office kind of look mm -hmm. to a Scotland Scottish look. look. I have to say my hat's off to the Hale Theater uh, crew. What a phenomenal job you do transforming the theater from one look to another. I mean, we, David and I walked in the next day and we were like, wow. Wow. And I just want to I just want to point out that Daddy Long Legs is playing till April 12th, and that's their Monday Tuesday show. And Bring a Dune is playing till March 26th. But due to popular demand, I think I read in my email that they added three performances. Yeah, yeah. So. If if you want to be mesmerized by and really be taken by two wonderful shows, uh, get your tickets to see Daddy Long Legs. Um, or and or and or Brigadoon, uh, you won't be sorry. Both shows are phenomenal. Both shows um, just are, are wonderful shows. Uh, I have to give hats off. Like I said, Austin played Tommy Albright, and Amanda played Fiona. Uh, Jeff Douglas was played by David Michael Paul. David Michael, oh. you had me and David in stitches. I almost fell off my chair a couple yeah, of times. Yeah, a couple of times I thought we were going to laugh so hard we were going to fall off our chair. And his, not only his, that... His comedian um, performance was yeah, just yeah. simply amazing. Yep, yep. Not only that, your accent made me homesick. <laughs> Because you had the perfect New York, New Jersey accent, so you did make me a little homesick. When you turned around and said, I'm from New York, he's from Apache Junction, I, th I thought the whole audience was going to die. They, 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 they laughed actually, so hard. They actually had to stop the show for like a second because the audience was laughing yeah, so the, hard. Yeah, the audience was laughing so hard, they actually had to stop for a second. Um, Charlie Alan. was played by my wonderful sweetheart Alan uh, DeWitt. Um, Jeannie McLaren was played by Carmina Gary. Uh, Meg was, uh, Brokey was played by Bree Wadsworth Gates. Mr. Lundy was played by our wonderful Justin Howell. Andrew was, uh, McLaren was played by Jared Kitch. Archie Beaton was played by Adam Guren. Uh, Adam, you were so fantastic. So fantastic. Um, Harry Beaton uh, was played by our wonderful Kyle Webb. And oh my God, Kyle, what a great job you did. Um, I mean, at times you had me crying. And so I, I want to just jump down and hug you. And um, Maggie Anderson was played by Ashley, by our Ashley Bear. And um, McGregor was played by Noel DeGardo. Stewart was. Uh, Dar uh, some of the last names I can't pronounce, uh, was played by Ryan uh, Monaghan and Sandy Dean, and Jane Austen was played by Kayla McLaren. 
Oh, he did it again. His, hair, his screen is touch screen. And then we had our ensemble was Kayla Lee Wilson, our Jeremy Cruz. <laughs> I'm, I'm always happy to see him back. She's a big fan of him. Carissa, um, Elsie, and Nick Fernandez, Albert Johnson, Arena, Maya Lucia. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Bennett Allen Wood and Olivia Woodward Shaw. All of you, all of you were just so wonderful. Um, we really enjoyed the singing, the dancing. Well, I like all the um, Irish and Scottish music. I'm, I, I can listen to that music all day long. But the singing and the dancing was just so beautiful, so, so, so spectacular. Um, so if you really want to go see some really good shows, get to the Hale T Theater, get your tickets. Because lately, their shows have been selling out, folks. Yeah. So don't hesitate. Get out there and Just get to see these wherever shows. Wherever you can get a ticket, um, get a ticket, pick the seat. Yeah. Because... The I guess said, there's day, no bad seats in that theater. No bad seats. The next day, you may look and they may be sold out. Yeah. When we, when we went to see Nonsense, um, uh, someone we, uh, one of our other friends were in... There were two casts for Nonsense, and one of our other friends, Melissa, was in the other cast. And David and I wanted to get tickets for the other cast. Well, by time, because um, I'm retired now, by the time my <laughs> retirement check came where we could get tickets to the other cast, they were sold out, and we couldn't get to see her. And I was so disappointed, because I really would have loved to see her. Um, the only thing... In, in Nonsense. The only thing we do really miss, and we hope they bring it yeah, back, yeah. is the is, meet and greets. Is the meet and greets. Because I so wanted to tell Alan and Heidi, um, and I wanted to tell uh, I mean, Michael Paul and Amanda, uh, David Paul. Uh, sorry. David Michael David Paul. Michael, I'm sorry. I have a David <laughs> Paul in my family, so I keep getting your name mixed up. It's David Michael Paul. Yeah. The one thing I wanted, to, I was so wanted to tell David Michael and Amanda and Austin how much, and and to see Alan and Kyle again, and I wanted to tell you and Justin. Loved, I would have uh, loved to see Heidi. Yeah, after and Daddy, Heidi after Daddy Long Lives. We would have loved to see you guys and tell you just how much we enjoyed your performance. I don't know how many of you watch our YouTube. I hope you all do. And if you do, we really, really, really loved your performance. And those of you that do watch it, um, please let the others know how much we love your performance and ask them to hook on and see this because it just, you guys I, were just phenomenal. I just, I really hope they bring that back. Yeah, because, yeah, me too. Because of that reason. For that. For that. For that reason. Oops. Excuse me, I'm going to bend down. Okay. Right. Now. But that's all for the hail for yeah. right now until we get to the yeah. next part. And we'll do our coming ups in a minute. Um, the next thing we want to talk about is our Actors Youth Theater Kids. <coughs> Last night we went to see Susical Junior. Um, I'm not sure how junior it was because uh, I've never seen Susical the play. Um, and I'm pretty sure they did like almost most of the songs. It, it was like... Oh, two act, um... Two act play. Performance. Performance. Well, let me tell you, our ki these kids were great. Great, 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 great. Um, we had such a good time. Did you bring it? I think? I thought I brought a thing in. Um, I don't know. Well. Yeah, you did bring a program. Oh, here it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. I had it. We lied. We saw the pool cast, and what a great time we had. Well, we're going to talk about your cat in a hat. Our hand. cat in a hat, played by my little Maddie Sue. Um, she was phenomenal. Maddie, when you did that backflip, I thought I was going to fall off my seat. And I we, really and, did. At, at the beginning of the second act, they had to do some kind of auction part. And when she pointed to me, I... It was like, yeah, I thought he was going to faint. Like, uh. <laughs> He's like, I don't know, I hope I don't have to get out of my seat. 
But um, Maddie Sue played the cat in the hat. Jojo. Colin, you were terrific. Terrific, terrific. Uh, Horton was played by um, Sienna. And girl, you can sing. And you can make us laugh. And it was so good. Gertrude and Maisie were played by sisters. Olive and Iris. And I don't know who was funnier. Uh, Iris, you you were you were so Your great. Your voice was like really good. Really good. And Olive, you you're singing, but what really impressed me is you had a bum leg. They found you had a hurt leg. Your leg was hurt. They found a way to fix a prosthesis so that you can walk around the stage with Just your hurt. And you you know you are the epitome of the show must go on. And I'm going to do this no matter what. You were fantastic. Just fantastic. And Iris, you had us in stitches. Um, and both girls, what incredible voices. Really, really incredible. Um, the young kangaroo and the elephant bird was played by Sophie. And Sophie, you were so cute. And your little dancing and... And you're singing. You did a great job, kiddo. Hats off. Um, Mr. Mayor was played by Ryan and Mrs. Mayor by Isabel. Perfect match. You guys, your voice is blended. Um, Ryan, I've seen you in other things, and um, you just get better each time. Uh, and Isabel, beautiful job. Beautiful job. Our bird girls were played by Emily and Sadie, uh, Giselle, uh, Marilee, Charlie Bell, and Alexis. You guys did a phenomenal job. Really, really good. And the Wickershims were played by Tiana, Nolan, Harlow, and Abigail. And our Yertle the Turtle was played by Tiana. The Grinch was played by DJ. DJ, you never, ever... Um, Cease to amaze me, and uh, you're just so funny and so good, and you do a great job every time I see you perform. Uh, Vlad was played by Nolan. Um, the Who Ensemble was Mason, Campbell, Valerie, Kelly, Brooklyn, Hope, Celine, and Natalie. You guys were so good, so good. Um, I wish David and I could come tonight, but I have a former engagement because I know some of you are going to be playing lead Plus parts they were tomorrow. Sold out. They're sold out. And you're sold cares? out, yeah. Even if I wanted to come tonight, I couldn't because you guys are sold out tonight. And then thing one and thing two were oh, played gosh. by Landon and one of the moms, Bianca. You guys were funny. You guys were <laughs> so funny. Uh, but, Landon, I don't think there's a show that I've ever seen you in that I don't think I just love you to death. But all you kids, all of you guys, David and I just love coming to see you. Um, it's not just the fact that you guys are such good actors and actresses, because you are. There's no taking that aside. But I love the camaraderie with all of you. I've never seen any uh, competition. You all, like, back each other up. You all happy for each other. I mean, in the audience itself last night were a bunch of the AYT kids that didn't uh, weren't in the play, hooping and hollering for the kids that were in the play. You don't see that a lot today. No. You know, on social media, uh, parents are complaining how kids are uh, knocking each other. You know, other kids are knocking this one and knocking it. It's terrible. But not you guys. You guys. The other kids come to the play to cheer you on. Um, I saw Zach and I there, and he he was sitting just a few seats away from me, and I think he was one of your biggest cheerleaders. He was so good. So I love it, and I love you kids. And David and I are going to try to come and see as many performances as we can. And when we can come to see double shows, because some of you are in one show and some of you are in another show, um, I promise we'll do so. Um, it's a little tough now that I'm retired, because uh, Daddy Day's retired and, and I'm retired, so we have to kind of split the money around. But we will do our best to try and get to 
two performances because I just love watching you guys perform. You, you, you put a smile on my face every time, and you too, right, Dave? Yeah. What, did you, what do you want to say? I was just going to talk about their next show, but um, yesterday it was just amazing. I mean, you put a smile on my face, and like Mama D said, we're going to try to get to um, most performances, but you guys were just amazing mm -hmm. yesterday. David always says, um, um, pa uh, Pat Sajak and he's Vanna White when it, <laughs> when it comes to visiting you guys, so I'm trying to get him to talk more. So that you recognize him too. <laughs> okay, so David, tell us about right. upcoming shows. Okay, at AYT, um, they have their next show, Bonnie and Clyde, which is playing from March 17th to April 2nd. Please put the whole cast list up so we can know who's in what cast. Yeah, if you're going to do two casts, please put the whole cast list um, up. And then after Bonnie and Clyde, they have... Um, Disney's Beauty and the Beast Jr. in May, May 5th through May 21st, but I also want to point out April 23rd at 6 o'clock, they're having their Voice Come Alive Gala. Get tickets for this and um, go see this. Yeah, those of you that watch our vlog, um, you know the two. Those of you that watch our vlog, um, this is going to be their big fundraiser. gala fundraiser. If you're looking for a place to, um, if you're looking for something to help out, a charity to help out, not that they're a charity, but the kids need microphones. Uh, a lot of times we go to the plays and they only have certain kids microphone because they don't have enough microphones for all the kids and they need a better mic um, sound system right now the sound system is good but not great and these kids deserve a great sound system and they all need to be mic because they all are fantastic so if you're looking for a good place to spend your money um, we need it on these kids because they need a good sound system. And that's at April on April 23rd, I think it said 6 p.m. 6 p.m. at the Double Tree by Hilton, Mesa, Arizona. They're going to have dinner, auction, raffle, and entertainment. Tickets available at www.aytac. Dot org slash tickets. Yep. For all these performances, that's the website. Yes. For their um thing. The next show at the Hale Theater is The Music Man, playing from March 31st to May 7th. Um, we'll be going on April 13th at 7.30. Mm-hmm. Um, the last, last news... I have is for the Combs Performing Arts Center. Um, they just announced that they're going to have a Beach Boy tribute and a Beatles tribute all in one day. Same day. One is at 4.30. That's the, the Beach, Beach Boys. Boys. And the Beatles, I believe, is at 7 p.m. Yes. Um, go to their... Um, Facebook page to get tickets and more information on that and then also they'll be doing Disney's Beauty and the Beast presented by the Combs Curtain Call April 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. So get your tickets for that and you can also come and see me um, at the box office. At the box office. Yep, you'll be able to see David at the box office. He's a volunteer there. Yeah. So I'll be there, and this month they have a journey tribute, journeys tribute, and a F Fleetwood Mac Fleetwood Mac tribute. And I have to apologize. Um, they also had a tribute to Garth Brooks, and we were supposed to do a vlog on it, and um, we got I got sick, 
and um, wasn't feeling too good and we just didn't get a chance to do a vlog. And I want to give a shout out to the band that did the Garth Brooks um, tribute. You guys were phenomenal. And if you can email us at um, on our vlog, go to our uh, Facebook page. Our email address is on there. It's uh, David, D-A-V-I-D, N, letter N, uh, Mama D, at gmail.com. And let us, uh, send us your, uh, your uh, itinerary, because I know you guys are going to be back here in Arizona uh, doing some more tributes, I believe you said, in the Mesa area or so. Uh, we'd like to put it up on our website, and we'd also like to come see you again. You guys were phenomenal. Truthfully, if you close your eyes and listen the gentleman that did the songs um, very much sounded like Garth Brooks, and the band was phenomenal. They had a fiddle player. She was terrific. Um, steel guitar. Uh, he was... I, do, I love the steel guitar. He was phenomenal. The, I, they had a guitar player who... I, I swear his fingers never touched the guitar, but... He, he it was just so great and a bass player and um, a drummer the drummer was unbelievable uh, so if you guys are going to be in this area again let us know so that we can put it on our Facebook page and uh, let our viewers know because uh, that is something my friends you do not want to miss if you love the music of Garth Brooks you want to see these guys because they did a great job. They went on the whole audience and asked for, you know, what, what Garth Brooks songs do you like? And people were shouting out. They played every single song that people shouted out, plus some. Um, so my hat's off to, to you guys. And if you watch our videos and you see this, uh, please contact us and let us know where you're going to be next. And I think that's it so um, come see David at the Combs oh, yeah. Performing Arts get your okay. tickets for the Hale oh, yeah. Theater um, check out our AYT kids yeah. oh um, the Chosen is going to have um, a special announcement this Sunday I believe it's 6 o'clock our time uh, 7 or 8 o'clock central time so get on to the Chosen website to find out what that's all about. Get ready. Uh, I think somebody wants to say hello. Yeah, so get on to the Chosen website to see what that's all about. Do not forget our Medieval Times family. Get your tickets for our Medieval <coughs> Times and keep supporting them. Um, you may see me there too. <laughs> yeah, you may see David there. David <laughs> goes a lot. Also, um, with March coming up, there's March Madness. They have um, extra shows during the week. Um, they put on extra shows during the week. So check out their website and um, get a ticket for their show. You won't be sorry because the food is phenomenal. The show is phenomenal. and um, You'll see Sister Faith working. Yeah, you'll see Faith there. I may. And you may see David there. Um, who knows, you may even see me there. But um, don't forget our Medieval Times family, our Chosen family. Um, if you haven't downloaded the app yet, what are you waiting for? The Chosen is a fantastic um, show, especially for those of you who follow Lent. It's a good um, show to start uh, downloading and watching. Somebody wants to say hello. And so we are just about done, and somebody wants to say hello. Our mascot, our little... Sedona. Sonora. Oh, Sonora. I keep getting our two dogs mixed up. Sonora. One time. One time. One time. Speak. Sonora. One Speak. time. Speak. Treat. One time. One time. Louder. Louder. Bad girl. There you go. Oh, <laughs> oh she missed. <laughs> so. Okay. So I think that's it. We've talked your ear off long enough, I'm sure. Um... Good girl. Good girl, Sonora. And so that's it. Go see David at the Combs Theater and Sorry. get some tickets for their uh, tributes. And don't forget our Valley One Theater. AYT Kids. More. Sonora. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the Chosen and our Medieval Times family. 
We thank you. We love you. Stay <coughs> safe. From Mama D. And David. God bless and take care. Have a great weekend. Bye.